absolute giant skyline. Oh my gosh. That is the biggest fellow I've ever seen. Holy cow. No way. Oh man, I gotta get him. I gotta play it right. There are so many deer around. I'm gonna make a wide, wide circle. I'm just going to mark this on my Onyx map and come back. There's a lot of places for this deer to hide, but it's worth investing some time in trying to hunt this buck. All right, got to keep hunting. <laughs> just spotted that big buck. Uh, the wind might not be good. I won't know until I get over there because it's just kind of doing so many different things depending on which side of the hill you're on. But as long as he stays there, I should be able to stalk him. There are a lot of does out in the flat past him though, so could be a pretty tricky stalk. He's got himself in a good position. I don't know. The wind is actually a little finicky today, but seems to be kind of leveling out more constant when i was a kid my dad used to say don't let anything stand in your way stand tall think clear don't let them see a to fear he was looking at me i could just see the tops of his antlers so i just tried to get out as fast as i could I'm gonna stalk over there and hope that he didn't run away once I disappeared. I got too focused in. I got 55 yards, but he was bedded and all I could see was his head and his antlers. And he was facing my way. And I got up to try to get a picture of him, a video of him. And I think that he caught the reflection because his head whipped over. So I just backed out, waited for a while and backed out. Then I decided, okay, I'm just gonna creep down right above him. I'm, I'm creeping right to the spot. And I'm so focused on that spot, I didn't notice that he got up and worked around the band of cliffs. 
and he had just popped out. I was just actually getting going down to put my GoPro on, and I look up, and he's standing there 50 yards away, and he just looked up at me just as I was getting down, and it was just bad timing. And he stood there, and I went to go range him, and he just trotted off. <sighs> Dude, that thing was a giant. That, that's the same buck I was hunting two years ago. Never got video of him. I saw him and then never found him again. I saw him once two years ago in about the same canyon. Just those droppers and, oh man, those drop back scratchers. <laughs> heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreak. Oh, maybe I should have waited by that rock and just waited for him to stand, but it wouldn't have been a good shot. A lot of times I'll blame the cameras for crap. That had absolutely nothing to do with the cameras. That was just me not doing what I normally do. I just saw him less than a minute ago right there, and he had just popped up, sneaked around the cliffs, and just walked out onto that hillside, which would have been perfect if I'd seen him first or seen him sooner been set up and ready it just i was caught in the open ah oh, it's so tough stalking here <sighs> bummer time to go get my shoes i suppose i got stuff scattered all over the mountain pack way up there shoes back here <laughs> just ah oh, bummer Real goats. Just sneak in there and shoot that billy. Got some goats in the canyon below me. There's one billy in there. Might see if I can sneak in on them. Good practice stalking. <laughs> Stayed out and then it hits the tripod and makes a horrible tinking noise that sends the animals running. <sighs> Bow hunting and self filming 101. Always tuck your release. That's the cool thing is there's like a lot of opportunity here. It didn't work out on deer today, but I ended up, as I was walking back to the truck, spotted three goats, one billy in the group. Uh, this area doesn't have very big billies, so it was actually a decent one for this area. And um, just snuck in above them, got the camera set up, and uh, made a good shot. It's cool. <sighs> A 
bit of goat strap for dinner. Feral goats. I've got the big buck again. He's just bedded on this hillside by himself. Not far from where I kicked him out at. I don't know if he really spooked. I think he just maybe thought I was a goat or something and didn't really care, it just moved off. I kind of rode it off and I come around the corner and he's bedded up there, maybe 350 yards. I'm gonna get out of sight up this canyon here and then uh, try to sneak down from the top again. He's just by himself. Dang it. Uh, the clouds are moving this way, so hopefully this wind holds. spot where I'm just going to be exposed the entire time. I don't know. Uh, go up this canyon and see. It is hot and dry. And I am running. My legs are starting to feel weak. <sighs> Dehydration. I left my pack way back there. But I've got to do one more stock. He's bedded now, I just gotta hustle and make it happen. Oh boy. Oh man, how many screw-ups do you get? Not that many. In my case today, a lot. Man, I raised up and ranged him, drew back, stood up and shot, and it went right underneath him, and there was a lot of tall grass between me and him, and my rangefinder must have just hit that grass. It was probably just underneath him, 10 yards short, five, 10 yards short. Man, that really, really sucks. Oh, dude, I'll have to watch the video and see what happened. I definitely think I ranged the grass in front of him and should have taken, I don't know, you just can't. Shit, that's bow hunting, man. You take the opportunity when you got it. Didn't seem like I'd get any more, any a better opportunity. And hindsight, I might have. Had it been able to raise up one more time, but would have sucked to be dinking around with a rangefinder. And man, that really sucks. 
Oh, it's the end of the day. I'm just gonna work down this canyon here. See if I can't pop around one of these corners and find a doe or maybe run into that big buck again. This is where he disappeared, so. <laughs> That's being fairly, fairly optimistic. But if I round the day out, getting another stock on pretty much anything, that'd be pretty sweet. sneak on those ones. They're my route out, so I gotta get out that way anyways. I'll just keep moving. Maybe I'll we'll go back to feeding. I'm out of sight here. Sort of. Yeah. Good, they're in a good direction actually. up this stream bed hoping that maybe some deer have come down to drink and uh, just gonna work around the bends and just slow and still hunt up the water edge I moved and one of the does spotted me. There was actually a buck, um, a stag just off to the left that I couldn't see. And the doe had a little fawn, so I was like, ah, I'm not gonna shoot this one. And then out runs the stag chasing him. I'm like, damn it. <sighs> That's okay. You win some, you lose some. He's sitting there looking at me right now at about 150 yards. Fun day, really fun day. A lot of miles today, long day. I was looking for that drop type buck and there's an absolute giant skyline. Oh my gosh. That is the biggest fellow I've ever seen. so many deer around. 
yards off, and that'll give away my position. <laughs> There's a lot of deer around. I might be able to crawl. You can just hear him just going to town there. I'm gonna be patient. He's nice. I lost sight of him, but I'm not gonna get too aggressive yet. I've got about an hour.
pretty good. Not a lot of grit. Oh, yeah. Well, I got my arrow, and it looked like a great shot, but because it's getting dark, I don't want to push him, so I don't think it's going to rain tonight. Um, it's pretty open country. I should be able to pick him back up. I'm going to leave this arrow here and come back in the morning. There's no predators, so nothing should push him. I just don't want to push him out of here. So I'll be back here first thing tomorrow. We made it back to the truck. Gosh, that was an incredible stock. Probably one of the craziest stocks I've ever had on a giant deer. It looked like a good shot, but I just don't want to push him. I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm just so excited. I know he's down, but I just, my head lamp was dying and I just didn't want to push him just in case. So I'll come back first thing in the morning. And I hope he's just laying piled up right there. It looked like a good shot. Oh man. God, I'm so full. I'm so pumped right now. I'm headed back to where I shot that buck last night. My arrow is just up the draw here. Uh, I'm gonna start, try to look for blood and hopefully find him I'm thinking he shouldn't be too far but um, you know you never know it's just nerve-wracking it's a tough night of sleep for sure <sighs> but I'm just hoping that he's right where I left him it was cold last night so the meat will all be fine and uh, there's no predators or anything here so I didn't really have to worry about it it was just better to leave it and not push him especially in the dark with a just like a fading headlamp so came back in today and just gonna try to find him. Uh, here's my arrow. I left last night. I mean, it looks good. I mean, it looks like a good shot, so. The buck just ran up through here. I'm just gonna look for blood, and I'm walking right where I saw him run through. I don't see any blood, which is a little disconcerting, but. I'm just gonna go check where I saw him run over first. Um, I should look for blood first, but I just feel like he's over this rise somewhere. I think he was so rutted up. He just kind of ran uphill following the does. I don't really think he knew he was hit. And sometimes they can do, go a little bit further. Um, just the adrenaline's going for during the rut. Ran up right through here somewhere. Dude, this stuff is thick and tall. Normally they just run and fall over in the open. One place. Oh, fun. Horns. Let's see. Yeah, this stuff is thick here. Gosh, that is a very, very big buck. Uh, holy cow, that thing is incredible. Man, he's just so hidden in here. <laughs> it looks like he just ran, crashed right through here, expired right away. But it just wasn't worth pushing him last night. And man, it would have been hard to see in here with the flashlight. I don't know if I would have found him last night anyway, so. But I let him sit, he's nice and shaded, the meat's all good. I'm gonna have to drag him out of here somehow. It is pretty thick. Uh, gotta get get some video once I get him taken out of this brush. What an incredible buck. Look at these palms. This thing is just huge. Oh man, he is a tank. It's 
the biggest fowl I've ever shot by far. Look at this little hand shaped sticker. Oh man. This thing is incredible. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. He's a moose. Holy smokes. It's by far the best fowl. Like, I don't know if I've ever even seen one this big, to be honest. Like a wild one. Just tall, great looking deer.